My name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. Today, we're going to explore a very cool filter that allows for perspective cloning. A lot of times when working with images, you're going to have angled lines or images where you weren't head on with the photo when you took it. Well, this can be very difficult to clone because things might get smaller as they move away. Maybe you have a row of windows and you want to follow that and just quickly fill it in. Well, we can do that with the vanishing point filter. Here's how it works. Notice in this case, I want to go ahead and fix this blown out O. Well, I could do that this way. Just make a new layer, grab the regular clone stamp tool and say sample all layers. Option click down here and start to clone. But the thing is, and it's subtle, it's actually smaller. Because this is going at an angle, the letter O that I cloned doesn't feel quite right. It doesn't look as big as the letter C here or on par. So let's just turn that off and throw it away. And instead, I'm going to choose Filter Vanishing Point. This allows me to click and start to create a grid to define where I want to clone. There we go. And if the grid turns red or another color, it means it's not an accurate grid. So you want to get those points in the right spot. There it's saying, oh, not an accurate grid. So let's drag that out just a little bit. That's good. Then I could take the clone tool here and option click to set my source point. On a PC, that's just alt click. There we go. Left bracket will give me a smaller brush. Line that up and start to clone. And what's happening here is that it's actually adjusting for the perspective of the surface we're cloning. So the letter O got slightly larger and automatically stayed in line with that plane that we drew. Looks good. I can click OK and it's added to the scene and we fixed the sign. Same thing would hold true if we wanted to extend this image and add some windows. So let's go ahead and press Option C and we'll anchor the right hand side of the page here. And I'll make this image wider, four inches wide. We can now say filter, vanishing point, And I'm going to go ahead and just delete that old plane. We can click and define the surface here. And what I'm trying to do is get an accurate surface to clone with. Now I'm going to need to move these into place. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I'm trying to use the angled lines to help me. Let's check that by using the bottom here of the ledge. That looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and drag that out. And notice how it's matching the side of the building and we could pull that down a bit. And now grab the clone stamp tool. Option click and start to go to town. Line that up and start to clone. And notice that the windows are automatically getting smaller as they move away and stay in line. Now we are getting a little seam there and that's easy to fix later with some color correction. But I wanted you to realize how as you cloned, the windows got smaller and it maintained that perspective with the vanishing point plane. This makes it much easier to do things like extensions or replacement of bad objects, as you see there. So that's the Vanishing Point filter, a very useful way to extend the cloning abilities of Photoshop if you need to extend a scene or replace a damaged object within a photo. For the Understanding Adobe Photoshop show, my name is Rich Harrington, and thanks for joining us. <laughs>